Welcome back to MBR, and this is getting lost in time. This is something that was intentional. Um, I just had a really, really, really good day. Um, energy was flowing, and I was just feeling hyped within myself. Um, no apparent reason, not. I didn't do anything other than I would do any other day, only more of it, of doing yoga, tai chi, just meditating, and it reached me to that higher state. So what I do, they do, and what is I try to explain for people to do, to keep in that good mood, is feel it. So I'd feel it and I'd go on into the next day and the next day feeling it and feeling it. Till I got lost in time. I felt every day was the same day and it was just lasting longer. In the sense that it went dark and bright, dark and bright each time. What's but five days? Um, I really have to think now when I start thinking of what day it is. But it's made simple to me this morning. When my daughter messaged me, happy birthday. I totally forgot what day it was. Because every day was as good. I was making every day as good as that day that I had. I was bringing along that feeling. And today, when I wake up and I get that message, it increased that feeling to feel it again, even more. As you know, with any feelings, they start to die down. So we have to work on it and work hard to keep their feelings. So it's all what we do. So within them five days, what I've been doing is more meditating, more Tai Chi, little more yoga, but more Tai Chi and meditating. And it's kept me to a good positive energy. And now anything that happens afterwards is just a bonus. So I'm not saying to forget the days. What I'm saying is to hold on to the feeling. Now it was easy for me to forget the days, not going to a job from nine to five all the time. But it was something I needed to experience that I could do myself. There's many times that we've often felt that, what day is the day? And then it comes to us and then we realise that, oh yeah, it just felt like a Saturday or something like that. Well that's pretty much how I've been making it happen, intentionally. You see, most of the times we don't do it intentionally. But it just shows us that we can. We can switch on and make any day feel like a certain day. And depend on how we're feeling towards that. So if we knew how we felt on Saturday. And we went through that day in our mind. We could bring about them emotions again. And then if we could feel that was happening now. We can enjoy that moment in time. Even if it's not happening. Because what will happen is everything that is happening, because it's a, a new you as you've progressed on in them days, but everything else has been new because everything's changing full time. But everything that's new in that time will become great as well because it's how you're sensing it, you're feeling it within you. As I say, I just People might say, you wasted five days enjoying a mood, a feeling. I ask you, have you ever sat down and really looked at a moment where you've really enjoyed in life and enjoyed it for that long? It's quite remarkable. It's, it's out of this well, it's not out of this world, it's in this world. But that's what I'm saying. We do this in general in life in the way we act to things, but we don't have that awareness open out where we 
can sense these things. Like if you sit down, for example, and you listen it, listen just with tones. Um, maybe it's different with other people and other their senses. But with me, I can sense things that's really in a way far away, and it gives me that feeling within myself the connection and um, some things are clearer than others and when they are so clear and you can feel that vibration within you it's quite sensational um, it's very hard to explain without having been through the process of just living that moment uh, that consciousness where you're aware of everything Yet, I can forget time because I didn't want any time around me. I want to switch off from the time and don't look at it, things as time, look at it more in space and what's happening as I move through that space. And it left me to be able to hold on to that feeling. I didn't think time was passing, so the feeling was passing, which we do relate to a lot. But just because time was moving but yet me I had switched it off so it was still just like my feelings and I held on to them and it, it comes about with intention when you've got that intention and to focus on what you do want so my focus was carrying that happy feeling with me deliberately carrying it no matter what I had to do or what needed to be done the most important thing to me was to carry that feeling for me to be happy and that there was no time all the time of the day in the week, month, year whatever way you want to look at it was there it was there in that moment of time it was how I was looking at it but that time was still there it was to come as long as I've seen it that way, I didn't have to look at it. Just knew that it was there. The existence, just knowing existence is there, is enough. And in that existence was me and my happy feeling. I sensed how my body was feeling, how every little piece of my body was feeling from head to toe. I was aware of it. I was watching things that I was doing, little things, and how that would increase or decrease the feeling. What I would do to lift myself up. How I would get focused. You see, it all comes back to bringing awareness back to yourself and not around you. Looking within, not without or out. So, if you want to get a better understanding of you and how you can carry them feelings, it's just something that you could try out. Um, obviously, I had the time I was able to do it. But the way things are in the world at the moment, I think now is the perfect time not to worry about time and to enjoy their moments together as one. Uh, and holding on to that feeling when you do have to go back to work, when you do have to get back into your old routine, so to speak. But if this is the case, now is the perfect opportunity to feel that happiness when you and understand how the body sends, how you walk, how you talk, how you hold your body up, what way you move, the sound of your voice. How you listen to things, how you smell things, how you taste stuff, how you touch things. How all that makes you feel. Being aware of every little thing. Understanding you. Who you've lived with your whole life and yet you don't have that understanding. Hopefully you can now go and get that understanding of who you are. This is mine, Body Reprogramming, and thank you for watching. And if you like my videos, please hit subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.